Just a reminder before today's programme that if you missed it, the first two episodes of the I Don't Review Extra are available to view. Our first episode taking a look at the very first BBC Two Ident of the 90s, that being paint, and episode two covering the second, which is water, which also includes its reflection variant. And now, here on AMTV, it's time for episode three of the Ident Review Extra. Welcome to the Ident Review Extra, a new spin-off show that will look at one individual Ident each episode and give it the review it deserves. And today we continue our marathon through the BBC Two Idents of the 1990s. So this time we're going to be moving away from the calm relaxfulness of paint and water to something a bit more abrupt and sharper. Introducing Blade. Talk about cutting to the point. Whereas the first two idents in the 90s lineup for BBC Two took a lot more time to really establish what they were going for and allow the viewer to get lost in the visual spectacle, this ident goes for no such target. This one is quick, sincere, and very much in your face. A sharp metallic light too falls from the sky to plunge into some other material, which I must admit as a kid, I thought it fell into another, albeit much larger, aqua blue too. The harshness of the soundtrack also works well with the visuals, to make you look up and pay attention to whatever the hell is making that noise. However, I can see the soundtrack choice to be a potential turn-off for those who much prefer the gentler, calmer musical tones that other 90s 2s contain. As well as being part of the early batch that debuted in 1991, Blade would see consistent use and be broadcast regularly all the way up until the set's end in 2001. Here's a clip from later in Blade's life. And that's after Adam Hart Davis leads an invasion on BBC Two. Despite this being from near the end, Blade was a survivor. As part of 50th anniversary celebrations in 2014, Blade was brought back into use along with many of its peers. Here's a short clip from that presentation via BBC Two Northern Ireland. And also tomorrow night, Coast looks at the secret wartime schemes device to prevent the Thames from flooding the entire city of London. That's at half past eight. Now though on BBC Two Northern Ireland, how women doing their bit changed everything in Kate 80's Women of World War One. After celebrations ended, Blade would continue to be broadcast for a few years, albeit in Northern Ireland only. The design teams didn't really have to change anything, apart from remaster the picture quality. But that shows a true testament to the timelessness that Blade and so many of its counterparts from the 90s all contain. Friday Night Rocks, now on BBC Two Northern Ireland, live music with Jules. To round off, Blade is one I will always remember fondly, but I wouldn't class it as a personal favourite. I've always preferred the longer, more soothing idents BBC Two issued from the 90s, but that's not to say that Blade doesn't have its fans. On the contrary, it has many, and especially as it was part of the initial set from 1991, it will always have its place as being one of the first to usher in BBC Two's most iconic look. And so we've come to the end, but before we go, the final words from our broadcaster. That was the Ident Review Extra. We hope you enjoyed, and that you tune in next time. Keep an eye on the community tab and the Sunday catch-up for further news about this programme, as well as others here on AMTV. But until next time, have a good week, and we hope that you'll join us again soon. Good night.